Hey Simleys, it's Deli here and welcome to another part of Let's Finish a Sorority House. Uh, basically we were doing the lower level in the last part and here I am just finishing off the kitchen where we left off. There were a few comments saying that having four stoves was a little bit of an overkill seeming that there are only six to eight girls in the house. So I uh, took that comment on board and I got rid of two of the stoves which is makes a little bit more sense. I think two stove tops and two ovens would definitely be enough for six girls, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, moving on to the study room. I am doing another speed finish this time, as you can probably tell, it is sped up, uh, which it isn't always, but this time it will be because I am just really hanging out to getting to the upper floor where we can do all the girls' bedrooms and do them all individually uh, to kind of suit their characters. And I'm just really excited for that. So basically we're just diving in here. We are doing the study room and yeah, I, I was kind of playing around here. I wasn't sure if I guess I wanted to put in sectional walls, if the study room was going to just be full of desks or if it was going to be more of a library. Uh, so I kind of went with a bit of a mixed bag, a bit of everything. I don't know what I was doing there, but <laughs> uh, I did put in a sectional wall and on this wall, we're actually going to put a bookshelf. I was kind of having this idea or messing with this idea of putting the desks back to back and they are both from the University Life Expansion Pack, but they are different designs and I just liked kind of how there was a box on one and there was more of a full line shelf on the other and how they looked up against each other. Uh, but we actually don't end up using that. We make kind of a little lounge area because I figured each of the girls are probably going to have a desk in their own bedroom. So we didn't really need to have lots of desks uh, downstairs, just a couple in that study area in a study nook. So this room is more kind of, I've kind of finished it imagining that this is where the girls would go to kind of discuss different projects. I put a TV in here as well in case they wanted to look uh, like at a study film or something like that uh, for a particular subject. So that's kind of what it is. It's more for discussing study. There are a couple of spare computers down here as well, uh, which would be actually really nice <laughs> if your computer like was struggling or anything. You could just go downstairs and use uh, other computers, computers down there. So that would be good. I also, you'll notice I do save a couple of times during this because my computer has been crashing, which is quite unusual during builds, uh, which is, yeah, annoying. I had a supernatural speed build, which I did mention ages ago uh, that I have been working on. And it was meant to be out like two days ago, but I had a problem where it crashed my game. So I have to actually finish the last level of the house again. And I just haven't had a chance to yet. So do look forward to that. That will be out as soon as I can get it out. Uh, I'm excited about it. I don't know how that speed build will be received because it's quite different to what I've done before uh, with the supernatural theme. But, you know, it was fun. It was a bit of a... Oh, not a crisis. What am I thinking about? It, it was a bit of a challenge. Challenge is the word. <laughs> uh, challenge is the word I'm looking for. So yes, uh, I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, also, we hit 18,000 similes today, which is crazy. Actually, I think I must have hit it yesterday, uh, but that's crazy. So I'm going to have to think of something fun to do for a 20,000 simile video. Uh, I think we've still got a bit of time left, but I don't know. I'll have to think of something to do next. I, I don't know if you guys have any ideas of what I could do. If you do, please post in the comments down below. Uh, here I was actually trying out if I could use a carpet in that room, but it, I don't know, it didn't really make sense. Maybe we should have carpets in the bedrooms upstairs. I'm not sure if they'll be floorboard or carpeted. I guess it would make sense if we have the bedrooms with carpets uh, or carpeted rather than wood. We'll see, I guess, uh, in the next part. Although I think we have one room upstairs to do and the bathroom before we do the girls' bedrooms. Or we could do those last. Uh, let me know what you want me to do first in the next part of this. Uh, but here I am putting the bookshelves in. I kind of put the columns on the side of that sectional wall there and back to back bookcases. Uh, so it does have a bit of privacy or I guess a little bit of a sound barrier for the discussions going on behind that bookshelf wall. 
Uh, so it's kind of got a lounge. There's a desk in the middle of those two lounge chairs. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted it to be high enough for people to be able to sit on the couch uh, for the girls to kind of, you know, do their homework on. I know in The Sims you can't, but this is just... If this was a real sorority house, a higher desk rather than a coffee table would probably be good in that instance. Uh, but I went with this kind of corally color, a very rich coral color on the couches. And I really liked that. Uh, it's very rich, but I liked the contrast to the pastel blue walls. Uh, it, hasn't, it isn't really a color scheme I've done before. And the desks are glitching out here because they needed to have matching colors on them and a flat color as well, I believe. So I had to layer two desks because on one side there are drawer details and we needed them on both sides if they were going to go in between the couches. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, but the couches are like a suede material, which I really like. Uh, it's probably one of the most realistic textures in The Sims 3, I think, the suede. Uh, they did do a good job on it. So I do like using it now and then. Uh, I think it's quite nice. Uh, but yes, yeah, so what else is coming up uh, soon? Um, I'm just thinking about the channel. Basically, I'm not sure if you guys have been watching it, but on the Sim Suppliers channel, when I visited James and Sydney, we did a build together, a let's build, and that's actually been released on his channel in several parts, uh, which you can go watch it. But during that series, as you guys know, I like to create clients uh, for the houses I decorate. So of course, while we were recording that, we ended up discussing the kind of character that would live in the house we built. And we actually called him Zavi, who is a very odd character. But after we did the build series, we did a creator sim video. So I'm going to be releasing the creator sim of Zavi really soon. So that is an upcoming video as well. Uh, oh, I love these books that came with University Life that are on the desk here. I think they're, I think they're really awesome because they're really, really big and really, really generous books. And oh my goodness, I love big books. The amount of big, but like big bot, big art books I have invested in uh, over the last few years is quite a few. Uh, they're not cheap, but I love coffee table books. I think they look really lovely. So maybe in The Sims 4 we'll have some uh, more sophisticated looking books to kind of put in our coffee tables. That would be nice. Uh, also, these flags here are from the University Life Expansion Pack. And I wanted to make them look like flags that had kind of been draped along the wall. So that's what we're putting together here. Because uh, I thought that kind of made the study room a little bit more interesting. And I kind of alternate the pattern of them so that every second trio of them are plain colours. I mean, uh, not plain colours. Every first trio is plain colours and every second trio has the different university kind of pictures on them. And these first colours I put on, they were very... They just reminded me of watermelon or like summer summer fruits uh, so we do change the colors of them in a second uh, once we can actually see with the lighting in there uh, much easier to see what you're doing than guessing the colors uh, but yeah we go with kind of a yellow a peach and a blue which has kind of become uh, a bit of a color scheme for the lower level of the house uh, it's very feminine I think it suits the idea of a sorority house uh, those three colors and so we carry that across that back wall which I think Brightens up the room a little bit, ties it in with those coral, those really rich coral couches on the other side. And oh, I was having such a struggle. I was like, I was in such struggle town with the lamps here, uh, going on the desks. I, oh, I don't know. They, they were just not facing the right way. So we go through several different lamps. Uh, I think we, yeah, we go through wall lamps, trying to see if a wall lamp would work, but that just looked. I don't know, I wasn't really digging it. So then I decided to kind of put up some paintings uh, before we do get the lamps finally on the desks. Uh, so a lot of scrolling through decor here to try and find things. Uh, but we go with this mascot kind of, I don't know, armor thing. Armor? What would you call that? Not armor, mascot. I'm thinking pledge plaque, plaque. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, I'm really struggling to find my words today. But yeah, a plaque on the wall there. It's got that pastel blue and the peachy color throughout it, which I like. And uh, we end up using these smaller lights from the store as desk lamps because 
they were kind of one of the only lights that really fitted on the desk and were able to be rotated, uh, which was a bit of a bummer, but they do the trick. They don't really take away from the other things in the room, so that's a good thing. Uh, but they are a store item. Uh, scattering some books around the study room because obviously they're going to be doing a lot of study uh, when the girls aren't partying. And we go with these big generous chairs to match the lounge chairs in the room. Uh, but we make them a different suede colour because I thought it was a little bit too matchy-matchy. So we go with a more uh, or, or a less powerful colour by using this kind of blue, um, sea blue I reckon it is. So yeah, they look like really comfy chairs actually. I'd really love to sit on those chairs uh, just quietly between you and me. They do look super comfy though. I think that would be really nice in real life in like a white leather. That would be pretty awesome. Or just a black leather. Uh, that would be pretty badass. And uh, yeah, that frame on the back wall, that actually isn't from university life, I don't think, but it looked university-like. So that's why I put that in there. Oh, what did I end up putting on this wall? Oh, that's right. This painting came from university life and I thought that was fitting because it's like a map of the world and it looks studious to some extent. So that's why we put that there. Of course, we needed to get some curtains in the house, which we do soon. I was kind of testing out putting a, a, a shelf here, but then I realized it kind of obstructed that walkway like it kind of looks like if you got up off the couch you'd whack your head on it so I didn't really want to put that there uh these curtains mm, they were I wasn't sure what color to make them I think we go with a dark blue uh do we stick with that I'm not sure but I do like in the room next door how it's quite a different color palette you've got the peach and the green but it's still carrying over that warm peachy uh color scheme so that works quite nicely uh, I think there is a lot of colours going in the house, but it keeps it upbeat, it keeps it youthful, and uh, I don't know, I like it. I like it. I think it's coming together, but of course, we can always go back and change certain things. And oh yeah, we went for a slightly more muted blue. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure I'll come back to these rooms and kind of refine them a little bit, because I'm never 100% happy. Uh, what I did in my last few renovation series was I actually went back at the end and just tightened up any extra decor I wanted, any decor that looked a bit cluttered, uh, pardon me, and a few things like that. Because uh, I don't know, you, you have to refine things, or at least that's how I work anyway. I think I learned that from design, learning design at uni. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was struggling to put things on the shelf actually, so in the end I'm like, they can have a tissue box here because everyone needs a tissue box. There is nothing more annoying than when you can't find a tissue box when you have a really snuffly nose, especially when you're like in public and you're that awkward person who is sniffling while the other person's talking. I hate that. Uh, actually, one thing I've always found interesting is how, okay, I'm one of those people who cannot, like cannot blow their nose in public or in front of other people. I just find it really gross. I don't mind it so much when other people do it in front of me, but me doing it in front of other people, I get really self-conscious. So I always like go outside or like out into another room to blow my nose. So I'm always blown away. Ha <laughs> ha, pun. I actually didn't mean that pun, uh, but that came out very nicely. Uh, yes, I'm blown away when people just, you know, they get a tissue and they go all out for blowing their nose, just like, <laughs> and... I probably deafened a few of you then, but I don't know. It takes a lot of confidence. I don't know how you guys do it if you're one of those people, but I cannot. I admire people who can do that. Uh, I really do. <laughs> this is t completely off topic. But anyway, back to what I'm doing. I am coloring the carpet. I went with a neutral brown color back there because I didn't, I didn't want to take away from the other colors in the room. If I did blue, I felt like there was too much blue and yeah. Uh, th this part of the video, I actually begin... I don't know, I struggle a bit on this room. This is a casual lounge room and I was struggling with the color scheme because I wanted it to be obviously a lot more casual than the other rooms in the house. This is a kind of room where the girls can go and watch TV. Uh, we do put a TV in there in a second uh, and just hang out. The kind of room that can be left a little bit messy. 
yeah, just just the hangout, the rumpus room. Uh, maybe we should put a gym upstairs, actually. Uh, when I lived in uni accommodation, we had a gym, and it was so good to have a gym nearby. Uh, except my friend and I, like my roommate and I, we the time we'd go to the gym would be at like 10 o'clock at night. I don't know why we went so late, but we were always pumped really late at night. So that's that's what we did. We did a night workout after dinner. Uh, but it was very handy. That was right there up the escalator. It was very good. <laughs> uh, okay, so these couches I chose because I think they look quite casual. I think they look really homely and they're plain and simple. So I thought that was nice. Uh, I do like these couches. They have them at Ikea and... I don't know. They're just homely. Uh, and then those chairs on the other side. I don't know what expansion pack they're from or stuff pack. I have a feeling they're actually from the 70s, 80s and 90s stuff pack, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, but when I started coloring them, they have that kind of stained look about them. Uh, so when you change one of the color swatches, as you can see there, it kind of alters a stain hue which I didn't like, and I was playing with it for ages, and in the end I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. So I actually just cut out that little bit because it was a complete waste of time. Uh, so here we are trying another avenue of interior design choices, uh, and that is trying out some floor tiles instead. But I don't know, it looks kind of weird, uh, those floor tiles, it doesn't really work in the room. So. Then I was like, maybe if I put a circular rug on top of them, it'll make them look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, just it's still looking a little weird. So we actually put a big, generous square carpet. But I really loved that texture uh, or that pattern that was created just then of the flowers. So I was playing around with the different colors in that. Uh, I love textile design. I love playing with colors and patterns and textures and whatnot so I, I was really having the time of my life right now apparently layering all those carpets uh, but in the end those long carpets look really nice in the kitchen so I do carry them across there this is kind of an interesting uh, idea layering or crisscrossing the carpets I've done that before I think uh, I can't remember which houses I've done that in but I've definitely done that before so I just carry those two long carpets into the kitchen I think that's what just what the kitchen really needed um, on those big floor spaces. So that's what we do. Here we are on the carpet again, and I guess the flowers uh, on the carpet were looking nice. They're not exactly the same as the other room, so I think they worked well. Uh, and I know you guys liked the circular coffee table originally in the formal dining room. So the reason why we didn't use that coffee table is because it was glitching out. Uh, but in this part, we used the glass coffee table from the store. Uh, it's not from not from an expansion pack or stuff pack, but because it is glass, when you layer it, it doesn't get that yucky glitch. Uh, so we just made that in a circle, uh, which I think suits the room. And these little poofs, I think they're called. <laughs> I, am I completely wrong? No, I'm sure they're called poofs. Like poofs. I, I think they're called that. Uh, anyway. They are from the Bohemian Garden set, which was very generously gifted to me. Uh, I'm very, very lucky to be gifted sets uh, now and then. So thank you so much to the people who do. And the beautiful furnishing gifts as well, the decor items too. Uh, it's very exciting to receive that in my emails. I always go, ooh. Uh, and so yeah, I've been wanting to use these for a long time. And I think they were kind of cool because the girls could kind of move them around the room. Uh, if they have guests over, you can kind of crowd around that coffee table, maybe play some, I don't know, card games, drinking games, whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I was also nearly using bean bags, uh, but the bean bags looked kind of, I don't know, they, I thought these poofy things were a little bit more feminine than the bean bags. Uh, not that bean bags are masculine by any means, but these were a bit more pretty. I think so just having a bit of fun here playing around with different abstract uh, textures and patterns but keeping in the 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 strict color palette of just using kind of different hues of blues and whites uh, because I, I don't want this room to be too complicated you know 
Uh, but I do like that hint of orange on the throw there on the couch because we just needed another bit of color in there uh, to make it not too matchy-matchy. Okay, so we took out that fireplace and we put in another one. This is actually from The Sims 3 Ambitions, that fireplace. And it's a good one because the TV fits on top of it really nicely. And I liked that the detail in it actually kind of reflects the Grecian column uh, architecture we've used on the house. So that's why I've chosen to use that one. And the plant in the middle of the table, <laughs> when I did that in my dream house, I got a lot of comments saying, oh, that would be so annoying because you wouldn't be able to watch the TV. Uh, for me, I guess aesthetics come before uh, usability so <laughs> uh, or practicality. Uh, but I thought in this, we would just put a bit of a smaller table feature in. So we go with this uh, nice vase floral arrangement from Sims 3 Late Night, which we used a lot in the late night apartment renovation we did for Eleanor. Uh, so that, that is quite nice, I think. And of course they needed a bit of music, a bit of tunes. I needed the phone there to keep social. And, you know, of course I'm going to put in some gaming device there for them to be able to play a few fun games and yes the tv is sticking out from the wall but we do move it back in <laughs> these frames are from university life i know the one on the left looks like guys like a guy's sports team and it doesn't make sense to have that in a sorority house but i thought this through you guys it is their brother fraternity house that they have a picture of the sporting team in their house so there you go i thought it through uh, and, and I think it makes sense that way. <laughs> and then the other two frames are of girls sporting events like gymnastics or dance or something. So uh, it's got the girls doing that. So that's good. Decided to put a chess table in here because it is a room where they can socialize and just have fun and be more casual. So that's tucked into the corner there. And uh, we do put a plant in this corner as well because greenery is a beautiful thing to break up a room. Uh, if you can keep the plant alive, I've gone through so many plants in my room. <sighs> I've gone through a money tree. I've gone through, I think, three orchids. And orchids are expensive. I paid like $30 per orchid and they always <laughs> die. I'm terrible at keeping plants alive. Oh dear. But in The Sims, we don't have to anymore. Only in The Sims 1 did you have to water them. So that is a good thing. Or in The Sims 2? No, I think it was just The Sims 1. Uh, put in some pink curtains here, keeps it, I know this is very, very girly, but I, I thought for the casual room that was fine, uh, just to keep it friendly, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, putting in a shelf here so we can put the trophies on that fireplace as well. I figured that they should have more than just three trophies in the house. This is a successful sorority house, these girls. Uh, uh, winners, they're going to have a few awards around the place from the different generations who have been there. So we needed a few more. And that duck lamp, which I've been hanging out to use because it's so cute, it's the randomest thing ever, uh, that goes on the side table there because it wouldn't fit on the shelf, which was a little bit annoying. Uh, getting those books again so they can have books on that big, generous coffee table. And, oh, I did get rid of the music, did I? because uh, I felt that table was a little bit cluttered. Popping in another sneaky save here, just to make sure we don't lose anything, because the amount of work I've lost is was just so annoying recently. I think I've been... I don't know why my screen is paused here. Oh, here we go. Uh, I feel like I jinxed myself, because I was saying that I was surprised that James's computer... His computer is laggy in terms of using creator style whereas my one never has been but I feel like I jinxed myself saying that because now my computer has been crashing while using it so I don't know uh touch wood it just it just goes away but luckily the sims 4 is coming out so that will be good not to have to worry about crashing and all of that uh I'm assuming it will be fine the game will run very smoothly which is good I really wanted a grandfather clock in this room so uh, I used this one from Supernatural, but I didn't realize I actually have another one, so we do swap it for a less creepy looking one. Uh, I mean, that one's not too creepy looking, but it's very flourished. It's not, uh, it, it's just a little bit fancy. <laughs> so 
we do change that. Just trying to find a nice picture to put on the wall. I decided to put maybe the original founder of the sorority, although that painting is probably a little bit before the sorority was built, but probably some important educational figure is on their wall. And uh, I thought these supernatural pictures were really cool, uh, the silhouettes. I do love them. I love the traditional silhouettes in those portraits. They're really cool. I uh, got rid of that toy thing on the ground because I thought it looked like a kid's bedroom too much. <laughs> uh, so I got rid of that. And uh, what am I searching for here? Maybe oh, a couple of other glass decor items to pop around the place. It's good when you use glass because they don't take up any visual space, uh, which is a good thing. And quickly swapping over the clock there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what else you want to see in the house. Uh, upstairs, should we make that extra nook or that extra room maybe a gym, I'm thinking. Uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But anyway, guys, hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I'll speak to you soon.